quick little update on the little ducks. Nah, the chickens, but we put a little tiny perch in there so they can get re used to roosting and all that. And we put a couple blocks underneath their water because they kept kicking up all the sawdust or this uh, wood chips onto their water and literally just like the wood chips would like soak the entire thing. So we had to fix that and it works, it works. So if you have that problem, step it up on some wood blocks. They love their little perch. <laughs> they keep pecking at it. Uh, we've got their food, they're doing good. Temperature's right. Now, we gotta go out and build the chicken coop. What we're doing is we have pallets that we're gonna break apart. We're gonna build the chicken coop out of pallets. Let's go do it. I mean, it's a beautiful day. It's gonna rain for the next week, so gotta go do it now. You guys are gonna love your coop, I hope. He's been out here since like seven o'clock just doing random things. He cut a bunch of our raspberry bushes back and now he's cutting this. Eventually, we're gonna do the coop. We were supposed to do it earlier, but I didn't wake up. Oh, well, here we You didn't did. wake me up either. I so, it's all your fault, like. honestly. So, here are the raspberry bushes. You weren't able to get in here last year because it was so overgrown with just everything from thorn bushes, from the rose bushes that came over. So, uh, now we'll be able to get our blueberry, our uh, raspberries a little easier this year. So now it's time to actually go start the chicken coop. Mom and dad are back there already. Got the camera so we can take better pictures. Right? Right. Yep. We're doing this, right? We're doing it. Nice. 20 mile an hour winds. Chainsaws. Chop saws. Windmills. Windmills. So what are we doing? Yeah, let's see how the heights match up. Okay. That thing is gonna be the death of my microphone and the audio. All right, so what are we doing? All right. You got rebar? Rebar? Yeah, you know. The play you wanna drive something through your leg? So for those of you who don't understand that joke, I slipped at a place called Montauk Point onto a piece of rebar and it went through my leg. So, that's the joke. It's pretty funny. It's a dad joke. Yeah. basically just laid this pallet on top of this pallet. Same thing on this side. That's why we took off this. Because there was a plank going this way, now there's more space in here for their nests. The uh, pallets are made from a really hard wood. So it's uh, a little difficult to get the screws in. So. I don't want to exceed the height of the fence, so maybe we'll cut it somewhere around here. Slant it down. Uh, the roof we're going to put on is going to have corrugations and it's going to run the whole way. We'll use this for the shelf. Have a box here, 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 here. So that's four. 
We'll have eight boxes in total. We have six chickens that we're gonna have. So it'll leave enough space in here. And then we we'll, might have a vent here, a door there. Should be cool. We can put the nesting boxes in here too. Or back here, actually. Put the nesting boxes back here. So we found the screws. I totally forgot I put them in the shed. So here we have them. So you're starting up the chainsaw, like I said we should do this morning. Hopefully nice. it starts. Hasn't been running all winter. Using a chainsaw to cut instead of a dumb old chop saw or a circular saw. That's easy and a lot more cool in slow motion. Slow motion chainsaw cutting. <clears throat> So to stabilize this wall, I'm going to drop these pieces in. There you want to get me the uh, sledgehammer? Big old sledge. You can hold that wall in place there. Do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Tip out of that box too. Well, you made that cringy. <laughs> After all this, we're putting a board on top. I just confirmed with the old guy because I uh, can't leave any openings, but yeah, there's going to be a board here. And we'll be able to pull it out the front to get all this poop and everything out and clean it and slip it back in. Yep. Not quite the same size there, bud. I just got to cut these down. I got them on an angle. This will have a little bit of an overhang over the door this way. So I like guess. No. Right on top.
Bring it back. To you? Yep. Instead of me filming everything and every screw, what are you doing? We're gonna screw the roof on. Just gotta line up the corners. There we go. So he's basically screwing here, here, here. Make sure we're making sure this top is secure into this. You did that already on this side. And so instead of showing you guys every single screw in, that's what he's doing. So what you guys saw there was me breaking apart, literally breaking apart this pallet and uh, these pieces of wood and the rest of these pallets here. They're all going to be used for the siding of this chicken coop. So basically this is what I broke off, this is what I broke off the pallet. I'm going to close it in like that and then do the same on the other side. That way we can put cedar shingles on it and then finish up the whole walls and sidings of this. So it's all closed up. After that, we're gonna put the interior in the boxes, the roost, maybe a little one on the bottom, their laying nests or their nesting boxes here, a vent, a back door, and then their front and their front door. That way they can get in, we can get in and clean, and it'll all be set. Once we're done with the coop, we'll put the run around too. That should be fun. So after day one of building this chicken coop, this is what it looks like behind me. That's what it looks like. It's uh, kind of far from being done, but we got the baseline of it done. Um, the, basically the foundation of this chicken coop and eventually we will get it done probably in the next nice day because it's supposed to rain for the next couple days, actually the next week. So when we can, we're gonna get it done. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Let us know in the comment section what you have. If you have any ideas on how we can make this better, I guess, or actually make it into a chicken coop just out of pallets, let us know in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe and hit that bell button. That way you get notified when we post another video about that chicken coop. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and enjoy life. You got one of them. Don't waste it.